Okay, so in this video, we're going to reverse uh, the straddle payment. And again, uh, the idea here is um, we can use a variety of different trading strategies, option trading strategies to leverage an increase or decrease in volatility. So uh, if we anticipated an increase in volatility, that would make the payoff here or the likelihood of payoff uh, higher. Um, and the premium would adjust to reflect that. And we've kind of set that up already in this long straddle uh, position. So if we want to reverse the straddle, um, we've just very simply reversed the positions. And to show that um, and what the reverse straddle would look like, it would just be basically a flip over. So instead of taking a long position, we would change these to being short. And the simplest way to do this is just to move, copy uh, the straddle uh, combination. And then uh, we'll make sure that instead of having long positions, we'll have short. So we'll just edit this a little bit to reflect in the title here, in the name of the worksheet, what's going on. So we're going to say it's a reverse uh, maybe we could say even uh, a short, but a reverse straddle combination. In other words, we'll take uh, short positions. Okay, to, so to take the short position here, all we need to do is to reverse uh, the payoff. Okay, so the simplest way here to go short instead of long is make the payoffs here on the strategy negative. So we'll just say negative and then drag down. You can see the graph is changing as we do this. And then for the long put position, remember this was a call originally. And uh, here we have a put. So a straddle is a combination of a long call and a long put. But in this instance, uh, we want to use, uh, take a short put position. So it's again, a short put, short put position. And if we look over here, we can also see uh, what we have is um, the long put combined with a short call. And that gives us the combination here is a short a futures position. And we could set this up uh, in this is proof to some extent uh, of put call parity that if we combine a long call and uh, so we have a, a long short call and a long put combination of those two create a futures but we don't want a, a futures synthetic futures we actually want to reverse the short position so again we're going short so make pay off here in negative re to reverse everything and fill in the parentheses and then just drag down. And once we've done so, then we have a reverse straddle. So what we have here with the combination with the reverse straddle position is that as the stock price moves away from the exercise, which is a shared exercise, remember the exercise is given here. If we look at the, the payoffs, Right, it goes back to this exercise, and then for the put option, is this it's for the put option? Just take one here. Uh, we're using this exercise, but again, this cell is equal to k here for the call. So both of these are the same. And um, but uh, when we uh, take a short put position and a short call posi position and combine both together we get this reverse straddle. And basically, as the stock price moves away from the exercise, uh, we start to lose money. We make money, we profit most when the stock price uh, converges to the exercise. And so if we anticipated that the stock price was going to converge to um, uh, some level, some in other words, volatility falls, uh, reverse, the reverse straddle can leverage gains as the stock price goes to, converges to some 
uh, key uh, stock price or some exercise price that we observe here. In this case, $100. Okay, so that's the reverse uh, straddle position. 